Hello. My name is Terrence Poole, and 10 days ago, I was paroled out of the Illinois Department of Corrections after spending 18 months in Safer's Crossroads Adult Transition Center. I was sentenced to four years for selling heroin on a street corner in Lindell, but I got out early because I have a job. For the last 14 months, this was my routine. I leave the center at 6.30 in the morning, walk down the Roosevelt Road to catch a bus to my job in Cicero, Universal Auto Body Parts. I don't want to go back to prison. Been there, done that. That's why I took advantage of every program SAFER had to offer. I got my high school diploma because of SAFER and learned how to write a resume and search out job opportunities on the internet. Last year, I was one of 4,000 ex-offenders the SAFER Foundation helped get jobs. But I got a lot more than just a job. When I screwed up, they stepped in to make things right. They didn't just teach me how to get a job. They also taught me how to keep it. I'm a Lundell guy. I was born in Lundell, and I'm never going to leave Lundell. When I first put in for work release, the older guy said I should ask what's in the outside of the city, because the closer you get to home, it's more like a relapse trick. But my family is in Lundell. I'm staying with my sister. My grandpa's around the corner. I know everybody, and they know me. But. It's an older and wiser me this time. Good morning. Good morning, Tony. I got my job through my girlfriend's uncle. The people there, my managers, they've been great to me. When I'm working, I give 20% of my salary back to SAFER to pay for my living expenses. And they put another 20% into a saving account. So when I get out, I got a job, I got my diploma, and I got a little money saved up. Since I was a kid, I've always liked the cars. And so like working here, I'm kind of, you know, I'm in the car bed. So my managers, whatever they can do to help you, man, they will. If they feel you need improvement, they let you know you need improvement. They don't just come down on your back for any, any and everything you do. They try to tell you, they, they help you out. But I like my job, though. I like it here a lot. Hey, Mr. Poole. Good morning. There's nothing too spectacular about paroling out. They give you a $10 coupon for Walmart. They make you fill out a survey about your experience. And you're free. Congratulations and much success. All right. Y'all take it easy, man. Right. See you, Miss Pink? Right. What's up, man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you, man. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I got out, I sat at my sister's house for 72 hours waiting for the parole officer. Please enter in the numeric portion of your IDOC number. I had nothing then, and eventually, you if you got no job and you got no money, you go right back to doing the old things you were doing. But this time, my situation is different. I officially checked in with the parole agents. They gave me a gift card at Walmart. Let's go to Walmart spending ten dollars. You want to go to Walmart spending ten dollars, Ma? Sure. Well, maybe I'll buy you something. <laughs> Give a hug, oh God. God is good. Terrence is a—he's a headstrong kid. Growing up in this neighborhood and, and in our environment, it was easy for him to get involved in the in the fast lane, the fast life they call it. He was a kid then. You know, when you're a child, you do what you think and do like a child. When you become a man, maybe it's time for him to start thinking and acting and doing like a man. Safer gave me my opportunity. They put it in front of me and whether I was going to grasp it or let it go. You know what I'm saying? They gave me the chance that I needed you know, to succeed. Now it's all up to me. 